up next we have our co-main event, Mr. Bag and Tag, Nathan Jones. But he's an angry young man, Chris. Do not mention the term comeback. Nathan Jones tonight, believing it still is his season, obviously renowned for big finishes on recent big shows, but obviously taking on a great opponent in Matt Robinson. It is going to be a war. Two incredible grapplers with a lot of big submission victories on both sides. What do you think is going to be the difference possibly tonight between two grapplers fighting in a mixed martial arts match? Well, for me, Chris, it's all about the things that have gone on beforehand. I think it all depends on Nathan's mindset because here is a man that is telling people he doesn't have something to prove. In a way, that means he's got something to prove. But he'll be in the danger zone if he goes to the ground with a guy like Robinson. His head coach, Ryan, and also older brother, is one of the most dynamic grapplers I have ever been on the mat with. That being said, Nathan Jones, big triangle in his last win. Early, sneaky victory there off his back. So who knows what's going to happen. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a real treat for our audience here at Warrior Fight Series tonight, Malcolm. And that's up right now. Ladies and gents, this is our penultimate bout and our co-main event of the evening. Please welcome to the red corner, Matt NXS Robinson. So Chris, this is our co-main event of the evening for a welterweight title here at Warrior Fight Series 3. And Matt Robinson making his way to the cage and he looks lean and mean. And I know what a camp. Matt Robinson from the pound for pound gym coming on in here as he embraces his brother and coach Ryan. You got Danny Beaver, all the rest of those killers down there. Austin Gartner, shout out to 99 Jiu Jitsu team. One of the very best in Europe in his division. A legit black belt. So great grapplers, great stand up. And you know, you've got their Thai coach Elijah. And it's just a great, homely, very tight knit gym. And when we talk of Ryan again, one of the pioneers again, I remember commentating on him those years back in Cage Rage. He's really groundbreaking stuff, wasn't he? He was doing MMA before that, it was in style. And of course, his younger brother, Matt, makes this welterweight division, as you said, with a perfect frame. He's got good long legs, good kicks, very well-rounded. And as I said, you know, even in the intro, his brother Ryan is one of the most dynamic guys I've ever been on the mat with. In, you know, and rolling. So, really looking forward to see Matt Robinson come on here and fight for this title tonight in the Warrior Fight Series. And please welcome his opponent to the blue corner, Nathan, Mr. Bag and Tag Jones. Now, obviously, Chris, there's been a lot of press coverage over this one as well because it's a great matchup. And one of the things that got under Nathan Jones' skin is with one of the press conferences there, somebody said it was a comeback. He really took offense at that, didn't he? Yeah, without a doubt. You know, Nathan Jones, make no mistake about it, you know, he is a very cerebral fighter, very calculated, very defined in his approach. He has a very intelligent style. He was a highly educated man. And he believes that tonight is his night, now is his time. He has hit spectacular submissions and huge shows off his back, and he's come onto this big stage here in your call tonight to make one thing happen, Malcolm, and that is to perform. That's right, and do you know what, Chris? I also agree with him. It's not a comeback. He's always been in the top echelon. He's always there or thereabouts. It, it, it was, in his respect, it was a fight for a title. It certainly wasn't a comeback and he made that very, very clear. You know, he's got his legacy BJJ crew, you know, Ashley Grimshaw, one of the best guys in the UK, you know, legit brown belt under Jude Samuel. Obviously, Nathan Jones trains with a lot of other guys as well, so he is a very smart competitor and he will look to put that on display today. I think it's gonna be interesting having two, you know, outstanding grapplers who have proven submission finishes in MMA going at it. Who knows what's gonna happen? And as you said as well, two great camps, so you know their sparring will be top notch. To me, this is, is worthy of a main event. It really is something that, as we said, has got people talking to the point that Nathan really feels he needs to make a point here. 
Ladies and gents, this is our co-main event of the evening. The Warrior Fight Series welterweight title is on the line right here. Fighting out of the red corner, a 27-year-old mixed martial artist standing six feet three inches tall. He weighed in at 169.8 pounds and has a record of five wins and four losses. Fighting out of London, England, Matt NXS Robinson! His opponent this evening in this title bout is a 28-year-old mixed martial artist standing six feet tall. He weighed in at 169.5 pounds and has a record of eight wins and four losses. Also representing London, England, Nathan, Mr. Bag and Tag Jones. This title fight is three five-minute rounds and is brought to you by iPro Sport. The only isotonic sports drink you'll ever need. Fight us to the centre, please. So our big welterweight title fight, and in the red corner, it's okay, Matt gentlemen, Robinson in expense. the blue, Listen up Nathan the Jones. Times, I ask you to break and a very terrifying stop, standoff stop. between these two. I've got goosebumps, Malcolm. Touch gloves, Nathan go shakes his head, but they touch gloves nonetheless. And it's happening right now, Warrior Fight Series title action. The crowd roaring behind us in this historic venue. Yes, a huge support for both young men here. I said in a lot of talk about this one prior to the fight, and now we're here at the York Hall, and it is happening. Two of London's finest fighters. And it's interesting to see the uh, stand-up game evolving right away here. That's right. They I was talking to both no these time. guys in their camps, you know, as they were coming in here, and they, they're both very, uh, how do I say, admirable and, and recognizing of each other's skills. So there's no ignorance whatsoever in the way these two are prepared for what they bring to the table. And immediately, as you said, with such good grappling backgrounds, first blood to Matt Robinson with that right hand, and then Nathan Jones immediately responds, Chris. Big right hand from Nathan Jones coming in there and clinching and hitting a couple to the body for good measure. But now, Ryan... Excuse me, excuse me, now Matt Robinson looking to employ that grappling game. Nice overhook control there. Well, he led the way first in the upright with his own stunning right hand, and then Nathan replied immediately. And in and stunning it fashion. Matt, and it's it was Matt that had to tie up. Interesting turn of events here, early in round one between these two and their title clash. And Matt Robinson looking really good, the way he's using that knee to try to swipe Nathan away and gain some space. But now Nathan's locked up what possibly might be a trip. There we go, right down to the mat. Big takedown for Nathan, bag and tag Jones. And Robinson looking to shrimp or possibly hip escape and get back up to his feet here. And Jones having none of it. Jumps on his back, very tight grappling from Jones. A lot of people sleep on this guy's ground game, man, but he submits and submits in a big way in MMA. Yes, dangerous moments indeed for Matt Robinson here. And it all came from that initial right reply from Nathan Jones that forced Matt to tie up. But now Nathan has got his back here. Dangerous moments, and it's early in the round, Chris. Great stuff from Nathan Jones. Just a testament to the amount of grappling he's been doing. And you can see he's got that arm all the way under Robinson's neck, holding onto the shoulder. Robinson doing very wise and going two on one on the other free arm to try and prevent that choke from being cinched up. Watch Jones may be apt to go palm to palm on this one. Robinson has to be very careful. It's early in this round, and there's a lot of time remaining for Jones to do his dirty work. I mean, if we look at any positives for Robinson, at least he's right in his own corner to be getting the information from his team here. And Robinson actually was doing very nicely there to flip Jones over. Jones obviously using that body triangle, and one way to relieve the pressure is to flip it over. Uh-oh, that's deep. That looks really, really tight. Full figure four, four he's tapped, choke. he's that's tapped. It. That's all over. Nathan Jones going in a big way here with a big first round rear naked choke. And a look of disappointment from Robinson, but that was a spectacular victory for Nathan Jones, Malcolm. Well, any perceived criticism of him, he's answered there, back and tagged once again and won this title. 
in emphatic fashion early in the first round. And Chris, looking at you, I get a feeling you thought this one might even go a lot longer or even the distance. Yeah, I mean, and I didn't see it ending so quickly on the ground either because both these guys bring such a diverse grappling tool set. That being said, Nathan Jones created an opportunity and took advantage in brilliant fashion, Malcolm, putting an exclamation mark on his return here coming into the Warrior Fight Series. Ladies and gents, please extend a very, very warm welcome into the cage, Mr. Grant Miller from the Daily Sport, who will present the belt to our winner, our champion. The referee has called a stop to this contest after two minutes and 38 seconds of the first round. Winner by submission due to a rear naked choke. And now, Warrior Fight Series welterweight champion, Nathan, Mr. Bag and Tag Jones! Can you please also put your hands together for his opponent, Matt? NXS Robinson. Oh, yeah. All right, and here are winner, Mr. Bag and Tag. Something tells me it's still that season. It's still that season, all day, every day. Nathan. That was a wild and frantic first round with some crazy kicking exchanges. It hit the mat and you jumped on his back like a gorilla. Give us your thoughts on your performance and submitting a very high level grappler tonight. Yeah, I mean, let's not take anything away from Matt. Matt is a tough opponent. I had to take this fight with serious consideration, but at the same time, I trained to finish and you just saw what hard work and dedication does when you put your mind to it. I've got a great team. Sorry, were you gonna ask me about my team afterwards? Okay, I've got a great team behind me. I've got all the people at the Team Titan. We're a family down there. Legacy BJJ, do you know what I mean? It's extraterrestrial martial arts, king kickboxing. Hunt me, man. Nathan, you, obviously there was a ton of talk coming into this fight and you're a very cerebral fighter in your approach. How do you, how do you reflect on that now as you continue here in the Warrior Fight Series now that you're the champ? You know what, I let my fighters do the talking, I listen to my coaches, when it comes down to it, I take care of business. You know, I don't, I don't have time for talking anymore. But you know, it's, it's still that season. Got time for writing that dissertation, right? Oh my God, I've got, I got 11,000 words left to write. <laughs> well, you've made a statement in very short time here tonight, Nathan. Congratulations once again. One more time, your champ, Nathan Bag and Tag Jones. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming. Holla.